Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. So I've decided I'm gonna do another vlog, perhaps. Um, I'm even thinking if I should vlog my Seychelles trip. Let me know if, if you wanna see that. I feel like I should, you know? I feel like if I don't vlog it, I'm gonna be sad with myself that I didn't do it. And it's like such an incredible place. Like I would love to, I don't know, share, share this experience with you and show you you know what I get up to and it's just gonna be super exciting so I think I should vlog it but let me know in the comments if you want to see that so yeah, I'm gonna have a busy week we're going next week uh, I need to pack I want to pack like earlier because I always leave my packing from the next like the last day and then I need to do my nails I need to dye my hair I need to do my tan it's like so many things you know that I always run out of time and I always like struggle and I'm such a slow packer I like sit and stare at the walls for like two hours thinking if i should take this skirt or not like i'm the most indecisive person like me and claudia are the most indecisive people on this planet like i'm telling you so packing is really hard for us like i struggle so i'm packing one week before guys <laughs> i'm packing one week before um by the way so dark now i'm like standing here in front of the window but it's getting really dark i was supposed to vlog earlier but my boyfriend was having too many zoom calls so yeah i left it till quite late he went to the gym now um i actually want to do a quick little diy today i don't know it might it might turn out nice or it might be a complete disaster so yeah i'm probably gonna do that now and yeah it's been quite a tough week for me um unfortunately biggie had to have a surgery and it was it was just horrible i've been literally like i couldn't sleep for the first few days because he couldn't sleep and he was struggling so much he actually is still struggling he used to wear the cone for like two weeks he's got like 15 stitches it's really upsetting. Let me actually show you him because I my heart is like broken, you know? Like when your baby is sick and this happens. I literally cried, I'm not gonna lie. Guys, look at him. Look at his ear. I'm not gonna go too close because it's quite disgusting. But I've cried so many times. I when they when I gave him for the surgery, I left crying, like actually sobbing, because I was so stressed and so worried what's gonna happen. But thank God he's better, and you know the surgery had to be done. Oi, baby! The unfortunately the ear just kept growing, and even though the vet gave him the steroids inside the ear, um, it, like a few days later, three days later, it went like huge and it was so big that my boyfriend just literally called on monday and said listen can we book him in for the surgery because i feel like that was the only really option to remove it properly so it doesn't come back um and yeah he's been quite helpless he can't really sleep properly he's not really like crying much baby we're giving him so much love but it's even hard for him to eat because look how long this stupid cone is it's been hard for him to eat and drink water like when he goes to the litter he gets all messy this gets full of sand it's literally like having a baby like i need to keep wiping him and cleaning him and he's got like all these antibiotics painkillers two different eardrops like twice a day and he hates it like it's so hard show your ear and now the ear went actually down i'm gonna insert some pictures of how he looked right when we picked him up from the surgery the ear was actually standing up but like five days later it became a bit like this i don't know if it's gonna go up or not I think next week we're gonna go and take the um, stitches out because these stitches need to remove. It's like so many stitches inside and it looks very like messy because it's like, I don't know, like 
all his hair got caught in there and like we're putting this liquid and they actually cut his ear and they left it open so like all the liquid can come out it's actually disgusting but yeah poor baby i've been so upset okay guys so i got this dress from revolve and this is the same dress that i have in white this is like a camo color unfortunately i don't think this color suits me very well so i decided i'm gonna dye it <laughs> I'm gonna dye it black, okay? I love the Chanel vibes. I love the kind of buttons. It's very classy and it fits really nice. And I just love the white one so much that I wanted to get this one. But I just feel like you have to be really tanned for it. Like maybe your skin needs to be a bit like darker or I feel like it will look better on, on blondes. It just doesn't look good on me and I know I'm not gonna wear it. So you know i got this dye <laughs> i got this dye on amazon i'm gonna show you in a minute um and we're gonna test it out i don't know it can go good and it can go it can go totally wrong but we'll see i think i need to take this off though i don't know because if i'm gonna dye it i don't want to damage these pretty buttons so yeah you can see it's a kind of like you know what we call this color and Polish. We call this color Sraczkowaty. <laughs> um, yeah, it's definitely not my favorite color, but we're gonna fix it, okay? I'm gonna wash this first. So the first step is you need to wash the, the garment, okay? You need to like remove any, I don't know, things that's on the fabric so it, the dye soaks in really nicely. So I'm gonna put it on the wash like a quick 15 minute wash uh, i'm gonna cut off the buttons as well and yeah we're gonna try and i don't know make this black <laughs> so i got this dye this is from rit i got it on amazon um i think it's pretty good brand this is basically for cotton wool nylon and more this is for natural fabrics they also have one for synthetic fabrics but this particular dress is made of cotton and also viscose. I don't know how you say it, viscose. And viscose is kind of like a semi-synthetic, but it's more of a natural fiber. So I'm gonna try this one for that. And I also got the Colorstay Dye Fixative. Fixative. I don't know, you basically use this after you diet so the color stays and it doesn't bleed and everything i don't know i'm i'm a bit worried but let's see i think i need to watch some like youtube video how to use this because i don't know there's like so many instructions you need to put it in a warm water you need to put salt you need to i don't know like keep stirring it i'm gonna prepare all my Equipment. I think I'm gonna do it in the sink because I have like a steel sink I don't think I can do it in a sink in a bathroom because it's probably gonna dye, dye it black um, And I don't have any like plastic container So yeah, we're gonna do it in the kitchen Okay, so I've got everything I need. We've got some salt um, I didn't have enough but approximately 250 ml of salt some dish soap, some measuring cup. I just need this for like measuring how much water I need. And also this little temperature things to see the temperature. A spoon, I don't know, some tissues, gloves, a dish soap. And obviously I would die in the fixative thingy. And a sink. Um, yeah, let's see. I'm gonna put some water. Apparently you need, um, I don't know, about 11 liters. I'm gonna leave a link in the description bar to the website because they explain everything how to do it um but yeah let's do this so i cut all the buttons because i don't want to like spoil them uh and i washed this dress i'm probably gonna rinse it again because uh, you're not supposed to like use a uh, softener like fabric softener um and yeah it looks a bit dark i hope it's gonna like take this color what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the whole bottle in for like 11 
um, liters of water because you're supposed to put like depending on the fabric weight so I've weighted this fabric and this is like 300 grams it's not even a kilo um, I think you need a whole bottle for a kilo of fabric so I'm gonna do the whole bottle for this because I want this to be as strong as dark as possible Okay, so I've got my 11 litres of water, approximately. The water is about like 52 degrees. It's supposed to be 60, but I don't know if I should add hotter. Um, we're going to add the salt to the bath. Nice little salt. Um, what else I need? I need some dish soap. Mine is kind of finished. I think you just need like a little squirt. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna mix this up, get the salt in nicely. Oh god, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I'm scared. I should have, like, do, do a patch test first, but, like, where am I supposed to patch test this? We're gonna pour this in. I gave it a nice little shake. Oh my god. Oof. Scary. Oh, that's it. Okay, it looks black. <laughs> You're supposed to do like a little swatch with a paper. Let's see. Hmm. I mean, yeah. Kind of works. It's kind of working, okay. <laughs> Here goes nothing. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh. Okay, what's important is you need to keep stirring and mixing so the fabric picks up nicely. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Give me the spoon. I'm gonna do this with a spoon. Why is these not... Why are these not, like, dying? Oh my gosh. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna stop the video here and do this with my hands. So I get a better... I mean... Oh my gosh, it's actually going dark, guys. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Okay, this is good. Okay guys, this has worked like magic. Look at that. It's like proper black. I think because this fabric is like knit fabric, it picked up the color really nicely. It like soaked it in and all the like... You see that? How good is that? This is great. My boyfriend is like, can you please um, dye my jeans? Like he's got these black jeans. Um, that are like very faded and he really wanted to, them to be more black so I'm like yeah put it in so I'm gonna wait with this for five more minutes I, I'm leaving it for like 30 minutes even though I don't think it needs any more like look at that that's like perfect black the only thing that didn't pick up the color was the little thread around the what is it? The thread around the the button here at the top. This part, you see? But it's fine, um, the button is gonna be there, so you won't be able to see it, and I can, like, paint it or something. But so far, so good! I'm excited! I'm gonna have a black dress now, because I was really not, like, into this color, so, yeah. And you know it's funny, Claudia has this dress in black, and she wore it so many times. But I think the black one is sold out, so you can't even get the black one. So yeah, I made my own black one. <laughs> Perfect! So yeah, after this I'm gonna do the jeans for my boyfriend and then I'm gonna put it in this fixative um, kind of solution. Um, all you need to do is just put 11 liters of water, like hot water, with like 125 ml of this fixative and leave it for 10 minutes or 20 minutes. And yeah. That's it, and then wash it. So I'm probably gonna show you the results tomorrow. 
Okay, so my dress is in this fixative um, solution for 20 minutes. And these are the jeans. <laughs> Look at that. Mm. Morning everyone. So we are going for true scoop today. The weather is pretty bad. It's actually raining. But yeah, I'm excited. You know I love this trip. And this is like my favorite thing to do before any holiday. It's to get those apps popping, you know? Uh. So it's up to you whether you want to do tone or the sculpt. Tone is basically like a continuous exercise that changes pattern throughout. Mm -hmm. The sculpt is like a really intensive. So let's um, do the tone the first time. The tone? Okay. Yeah. Well, Which one am I doing? Did you want to? You've done this before. I need the good one. The one that's going to give me apps. Yeah, sculpt. Sculpt is like the most intense. Yeah. It doesn't give you a break at all. Whereas the tone gives you small breaks in between. Yeah, let's do the tone the first time. Let's do oh, are you excited? Putting these on, you've seen the process, but I'm excited. The higher the program, the more results. That's what we want. When you think you can't go any higher, that's when we go up and higher. So Sam is doing tone and I'm doing sculpt, which is stronger, since he's never done it before. <laughs> Only 15 minutes of a bit of pain. <laughs> no pain, no gain. This is on 26% now. Does it feel okay? Yeah. I'll show you how it's moving. See those muscles shaking? Why you this? It holds it in place a lot better. So, yeah, you won't have pain. It's not as uncomfortable. I've got the belt. Protect. How often do you do it for yourself? I go away. Sometimes I'll do it often. Sometimes yeah. I'll go for ages without it. But do you think it helps? 100%. Well, of course for it me, helps. My muscles in my ribs kill the next day. Oh yeah, we're gonna have so much pain tomorrow. It's worth it. it. It's definitely worth it. Like for me, this is the best treatment for abs. Especially if you're lazy, you know, with doing ab workouts. I never do ab workouts because I'm too lazy. You know? Hello everyone, so I didn't vlog much yesterday, the weather was really miserable, I didn't even put makeup on, so I didn't do anything, I actually was packing, I started already packing for my trip, um, this time I'm doing it, you know, a few days in advance, well a week in advance, because I want to be prepared, I want to have like outfits ready, and I feel like if I pack, I don't know, the day before, I overpack, but if I pack a week in advance, I kind of prepare all my looks, I take pictures of the looks, I put them on my iPhone, so it's like very prepared. But yeah, um, the weather is nice today. I went down to take some pictures. I'm wearing this top, the one I showed you in the last video. I love this top. Now that I have some time, because I put fake on actually. I put fake on like five days ago, but it's still on. Now that I have a tan, it looks even better. So yeah, I did some pictures. I was actually packing today as well. I'm packing like bits by bits, you know, checking this outfit, checking that, checking this bikini, seeing what looks good, you know, uh, probably I'm gonna pack later as well. But yeah, I'm gonna show you the result of the dress. It finally dried, yesterday it was still wet and I was putting the buttons on. Probably I didn't have to take the buttons off, but you know, I was scared. I've never dyed anything before, so I didn't want to like ruin them. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna show you the results. Let me just say it's not black. <laughs> it's not black, but it's actually very nice. Like, I'm obsessed. Okay, I love it. Like, I love how it turned out. Um, yeah. Okay, guys, so this is my dress. This is how it turned out. I don't know if you can see in this lighting, but the color is kind of like dark brown. It's like chocolate black. Kind of like a chocolate black color. It's not fully black, it's more like a chocolatey brown, but I love it, it actually matches my head. Look at that! Like, the color took so nicely, apart from this thread. <laughs> but that doesn't bother me. I'm gonna actually show you the jeans that I did for my boyfriend, so you can see black against this color. 
So they picked up the color really nice. Like they were super faded. Here you can't see, but they're super black. My boyfriend can't believe it. He's like, oh my gosh, why didn't I do this before? Like he's got these jeans for a while now and they were super like um, faded. So now they're like nice and black. But if I put these two together against each other, you can see that this is black and this is kind of like a dark brown. But overall, I'm really happy with the results. Like, honestly, it was the best decision that I made because I know I would never wear this brown color. Like, it wasn't even brown, it was like weird. Okay, here is the dress on. It actually looks quite dark here in this light, but if I kind of move against the light and show you against my hair color, it's literally the same. It's like this dark, deep brown. It's literally the perfect autumn, winter, kind of dress. I'm honestly so happy that I did this because I know for a fact I wouldn't wear the other color. Like, I know it. So this was the best decision ever. Like, I want to dye everything now. <laughs> I have these jeans that I got recently and I want to dye them, but I'm scared because they're quite expensive. So I think I need to like keep them blue. They're like dark blue. And I'm not really a fan of dark blue jeans. I like either black or, I don't know, light blue. But anyway, we'll see. But this project, I give it 10 out of 10 because I actually really like this color. So bear in mind if you're dyeing uh, fabrics and the color is already quite dark, it's probably not gonna be the same color like you want it. Like it's probably not gonna be black, like, you know, what happened with me. But I actually don't mind this color, so I'm happy. I got some new items from Revolve. Uh, I have another beautiful dress that I want to show you. And I also got one set for my trip. Probably the set I'll show you maybe on the trips if I'm gonna vlog, but I'm thinking I'm gonna vlog because I have to. Like, I have to vlog, okay? Like, who wouldn't vlog from Seychelles? So, some of these outfits I'm gonna maybe show you on the trip, but I'm gonna show you this dress because I'm obsessed. Okay, how gorgeous is this dress? It's like a little slip-on lacy dress. It looks like a nighty, but I love it. Actually, I'm obsessed. Like my boyfriend was like, "This is lingerie." I'm like, "This is not a lingerie. This is a dress. It's like double line. The fabric is really nice. It's got all these details here. I'm obsessed. I feel like it looks even better on than on the website. Like I was kind of, I wasn't sure if I should get it, but I kind of need more dresses for night out, you know? For autumn, winter... What do you think? It looks good with heels and like a blazer. This is in a size extra small. I kind of tied it here very tight because I wanted these to kind of come together. But yeah, this is what it looks like that. Uh, it's from NBD. Let me know what you think. But I love this. So I got some parcels on the way and I've got some beauty products to show you that I got recently. What is this? I actually don't even know what I got. What the hell is that? Honestly, these days I don't even know what I get. What I buy. Oh! It's a scale, hand scale for your luggage. Mine broke and this is like the most important thing. And I like this one more than the digital one, like the one for batteries, because I feel like this works much better. Hmm. You know what I was looking at on Amazon? I was looking at this like huge scale for parcels. It's like, it's like this big and you know my obsession with like weighing stuff and my obsession with having my bag overweight it would be quite a handy thing to have at home maximum 32 kilos what my bag is always more than 32 kilo <laughs> oh what was my other one I guess if it's more than 32, you know you're overweight. Because usually these days bags can be only like 30. Like one piece of luggage can not be more than 30 because it's like too heavy. Oh well. I guess we'll see how that works. I also got the bikini top that I was telling you about in the last video. The size medium. 
It came really quickly, actually. Oh. Size medium. I'm scared it will be too small again. But that is still small. Actually, no, this is perfect for me. Look. Oh yeah, this gives more support. The other one was literally like micro bikini. My boyfriend was like, you know, allowed to wear that. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't even comfortable wearing that because it was way too small. It was like, it was like barely covering your, covering your nipples. Like maybe it was good for Ibiza, but this is good. So yeah, this is basically what the top looks like. Simple black triangle. I'm not gonna put it on because you can see here what this is. Quite basic, but yeah, I like this lycra fabric. I I feel like these lycra fabrics, when it comes to bikinis, are the most long-lasting um, and like durable, and they don't really wrinkle or like, you know what happens with bikinis when you like wear them and you don't wash it properly, it like goes wrinkly and weird. So yeah, this is great. Like a tanning 
something for your face and and I realized that every product that I use makes my skin super dry so I thought maybe I need like a tiny serum and this one is like a hyaluronic self tan serum in a mini little size for travel because you know this is perfect and it smells so good oh my god oh I love their smell like I actually really love their uh, tanning drops that you mix with a moisturizer but I feel like every time you need to mix it with a moisturizer it's like a hassle you know I'd rather just like put a serum and this is like a serum kind of based drops and you're gonna be tanned the next morning so yeah this is coming on the holiday with me since we're talking about tanning I actually have more tanning products that I got I got these ones these are from mine tan body skin and I've worked with them before I actually used their um, like a tanning spray machine and I really loved that so I really wanted to try the foams because they look really good like look at this one it's called violet I actually used this five days ago and I was really impressed you know it didn't have that I don't know smelly fake tan smell and I also got this one this is like intense dark like this could be like super dark um, and I also got the serum this is bronzing renewal serum smells really good actually it smells like I was gonna swatch it and have a, like a nice orange patch tomorrow but yeah this is really good I'm gonna try these I've tried this one already and I really love it so yeah definitely a great tanning product I also got the same makeup bag from Space and K, like Claudia Go. This is really handy for traveling, and I feel like I'm gonna bring some makeup with me in my carry on just in case of an emergency. Because <laughs> you know, I always travel with my makeup in my checked in luggage, and imagine arriving somewhere with no, with like no luggage and you have no makeup. So this time I'm being prepared and I'm taking this with me in my carry-on or in my handbag. I'm gonna put some makeup in here, some like safe products, but I'm still gonna pack another makeup bag for my luggage because I need a lot of makeup, okay? I always travel with a lot of makeup, like I need different bronzers, I need different highlighters, I need different mascaras, I need different blushes, I need a lot of things, okay? But I really love this bag. It was actually on sale, so I don't know if it's still on sale, but I love how sturdy it is. I love it. Okay, another interesting product that I got. I've seen this everywhere on Instagram, and I decided I'm gonna get it and try it. It's from Glaze. Hmm, it looks interesting. I like the bottle. It's called Super Coloring Conditioning Gloves. So it's basically like a very shiny gloss for your head that has like a bit of color in it. So it's like non-permanent um, color. I got the color Sleek Espresso because I want something like brown, you know. Uh, yeah. Oh my God. That looks, that smells really good. And it's like, see that color? So yeah, I'm gonna try this. Probably I'm gonna try this when I come back from holiday because I'm definitely gonna dye my hair now, so I want to try this when my head is like washed off, like the dye is washed off. So this is like a cool alternative if you don't want to be dyeing your hair. Um, that's why I got it because I want to try some new products, you know. It's this mirror glass shine. Ooh. It's like a natural vibrant color. Hmm. semi permanent. I'm excited for this. Okay, I've been doing a lot of shopping on Amazon and I've discovered these like amber bottles and I'm obsessed, okay? Look at this. I got all these. Actually, I have so many. <laughs> and I have more here in the background for like hand wash and dish soap. But I got these for the shower and I really wanted like these easy squeezy bottles that look good in your shower. I just hated the look of all these like dove and like all these like shower gels they don't look very aesthetic and it's also difficult like every time you're showering you need to take it and squeeze it out so i really wanted something that is like easy to pump out so i got these body wash they come i actually got these stickers separately because the stickers that came with this bottle i didn't really like they were like too big and so i got these stickers separately we've got body wash shampoo conditioner and then here I have another sticker that was like 
empty so you could actually write on it and I bought intimate wash so this is for my intimate wash because obviously I need my intimate wash and then I got another one another shampoo and this is head and shoulders because my boyfriend loves sometimes head and shoulders so I have a nice little selection here for us in the shower so it looks all good and aesthetic I love it I will say the one thing that this pump is actually much better to squeeze than this one so I first got these because I thought they're gonna look better like this looks much better than that you see but this is actually quite difficult to squeeze with one hand so if you want to squeeze it with one hand it's a bit more harder than this one but they look good whatever I like them it makes my bathroom look more I have another little product that I received the other day and this is a new product from Living Proof and it's called Triple Bond Complex. It's kind of like a hair strengthener. So you only need like one pump and you put it on your wet hair and it's supposed to like strengthen the hair and like makes them so much better. So I've used it actually today. My hair feels good though. Uh, I'm gonna let you know how I like this but so far so good and it smells really good. Their products smell amazing, okay? It's like, I love the packaging, it's super cool. Yeah, I'm excited for this. Okay, so here's the dress. Oh my god, look at that. Very beach vibes. Very flowy. Very like loads of chiffon. I love the kind of detail. The lace here. I'm gonna link their website below, but they actually make these in different colors. So like, if you want blue or pink, anything. I, you know what I was actually thinking? These dresses are amazing if you wanna like do, um, I don't know, pregnancy photo shoot, and they make them in blue or pink. And, cause it's got enough space here for the belly. So it's like very beautiful, like on the beach, like a vibe, you know? It's honestly an amazing dress. I'm very excited to wear this. Probably for a dinner, or maybe like lunch on the beach. All I want to do is like, do this. <laughs> oh, probably I'm gonna take a picture like that. <laughs> you know, because I always do that. I'm very excited for this trip, okay? I don't know if you can tell. Uh, but I'm literally like counting the days. I'm living for this holiday. Like, I just want to be on the beach, relaxing, taking pictures, like... <laughs> drinking having wine and like getting a tan i don't know if i'm gonna vlog anything else today but i'm probably gonna vlog on sunday sunday is a very special day because it's scarlett's big 30 okay it's her dirty 30 and her fiance is actually planning a little surprise for her um so we he's doing like a lunch um so i'm probably gonna vlog maybe on the day, show you what I'm wearing, maybe I'm gonna vlog from there, but the restaurant is like, I think he's doing it at Le Petit Maison, so the restaurant is quite small, I don't know if I'm gonna be like vlogging everybody, maybe just a little snippets, you know, a little snippets, but yeah, that's probably gonna be it for this vlog, and the next vlog you'll see is gonna be me on the beach, okay, because I'm definitely vlogging. I'm definitely vlogging Seychelles. I, I realized that I just want to have this like memory, you know, I just like, sometimes I look back at our videos and I, and I see them, uh, see them and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, it's so amazing to see these videos, like after a few years, like me and Claudia, we were watching some videos like a while back from like Mykonos and it just feels so good. So I definitely want to film this Seychelles trip, you know. By the way, I don't know if I told you, but I actually didn't end up dissolving my lip filler because I didn't have enough time and I would probably be bruised, swollen and it would just be a disaster and probably I wouldn't even like the results because it takes like two weeks to settle everything and so I thought, you know what, my lips look good, okay, I'm gonna leave them for now. Probably I'll do it when I come back from the trip. But yeah, anyway, that is it for today. Uh, if I have anything interesting, I'm gonna vlog it. But if not, then I'll see you on Sunday. Okay, guys, so I'm super excited because my new iPhone 14 Pro Max arrived. And oh my gosh, I literally needed a new phone since like three years ago. Uh, and 
this is amazing this camera is 48 megapixels 8k video quality it's like amazing look at my screen saver i already put my sim card and did a few little bits on it but the camera quality is like unmatchable i mean i've been using the iphone 11 so for me it's like a big jump and a big upgrade it literally arrived on the day when it's supposed to come out so i was really surprised because i was worried it's not gonna come for my holiday and you know i really wanted a new phone for holiday for like pictures and videos so yeah i'm excited i got the 500 gb um because i have you know too much photos and i need loads of storage even though i still buy two terabyte on icloud like i literally pay every month for extra storage but i got the gold one it's kind of like a very pale gold i don't know if you can even see here but yeah it's gold and the speaker on this is so loud i was so surprised it's like amazing and i love the new software so it looks kind of cool you've got the time here and you can put like little icons yeah i love it i'm so excited i've been like playing with it all day uh, but yeah, you're gonna see a lot of good quality content on my instagram okay so for me this is like super exciting this is also way bigger than the one i had like this is the, very similar to the 13 um iphone 13 but the camera i just want to show you the camera quickly so on the photo you can kind of go like this and you can do standard high contrast vibrant warm the warm is so cool like i love it look at that you know all those gloomy days in england the photos look very gray and for me i like warm pictures so like look at that like this is amazing and then video let me show you the video so video you have this little what is it here you can do action mode so it literally like works like a gimbal so it's like super smooth and then you can do cinematic so if you do cinematic everything is like blurred behind you but yeah, i'm so excited since obviously my work is mostly on the phone you know taking pictures editing editing reels it's like having a new upgraded phone it's like amazing I got another exciting item for my trip guys these are on my list for a while and they're quite expensive they're sunglasses and they just arrived so i'm excited let me kind of like scoop them out we've got ourselves a white pair of a very pretty retro style sunglasses look at these I really wanted this kind of style of sunglasses, like this very retro, kind of roundish, oval type of shape. And these are the perfect ones. I've been looking for white sunglasses for like ever. And it's so hard to find white sunglasses that look good. So these are actually really nice and they suit me quite well. What do you think? I'm going to link them below. I got them from uh, Marchesa Fashion. I think they are really pretty. This is my last item that I'm getting for holiday. Like, I literally spent way too much money. <laughs> oh, I've been going crazy, I swear. Okay, guys, so I'm ready for Scarlett's big 30th. This is what I'm wearing. I decided to wear this dress because I love it. And this little jacket, both from Revolve. I'm wearing these shoes. I was gonna wear my Jimmy shoes, but I thought they were a bit too glam. So I'm wearing these Labutons. I don't even think I wore them before. Um, and yeah, I put some wash of fake time because I was so pale. And this one works actually really nice. I don't know if you can tell, but we are ready. Glam lunch.